and welcome to another build of uh, probably the final build of the uh, RKR Luminous Globe. This is what I've built so far, looking really nice. Obviously, we've done most of the, the, all the main well, most of the main parts of the group would do a bit on it to finish it, but we've been working on the base part mostly and uh, wiring up the wire for it. Hopefully, that working. Hopefully, so yeah, um, it works before. So, <laughs> so uh, here we go, we'll get ready and uh. Start a build again, so finish off. <laughs> so, as previously, I've uh, got it all these parts ready for this, 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 this part of it. So, what we need to do is get a C7, poke it through the hole, and it. Not obvious where it goes. Right, so if the hole, that big hole's there, then this sort of goes off to the left. Right, so that's that. So that's that. Yeah, that's the way it looks anyway. That comes that holds it in place nice better now. Then you've got G7, that just goes on top of that one. Don't matter where round it goes, because yeah, it's just gonna fit on there anyway. As long as you've got the uh, wire coming out, which is uh, nice as there, which is wrong. You actually want to see it coming out uh, the side part here. This one, that's why that like slots in there. Size I saw. Yeah, so it comes out the slot there like that. That makes more sense now. And that twists quite nicely with the rest of it. Side for a second. Now we get these two parts A9 and uh, I think it right matters too much. So have this around the hole towards you. Then this part over here. It actually has a, like a outline on the uh, part. To show you, kind of show you where it ready to go. And then these four little pieces they go in. Probably better if I clean them up a bit so they actually fit in the holes, isn't it? Should have done that before, but no, let's just uh, do it now. Really hard to do because it's tiny as anything. Right, so so that goes in a hole there. Get a thingy. There you go. Sorry. Table is your friend when building things like this. Push belts in like that. Right, that's that in there. Oh, right. I'll be back for the next parts in a sec. Right, so I've got the next parts ready. These are quite cool. I've seen them quite a few times in the uh, uh, like the new gears and stuff like that. They've been cut very shallowy so that they can bend and 
warp shape wise. So this could be a bit of most. One's got like a port for the USB a switch. So as long as you put it, so that's the, uh, on the right hand side of this hole, then you're good. And it's got more pattern on that side, so you put that face the other way around, that's facing outwards, then you're good. And just work it round. Careful, because you could break this easily. The other one is virtually exactly the same. Again, you've got like notches at the bottom, make sure you have them that way around, and uh, the backing the right way around too. Otherwise, you just look pants. You're hiding the detail, well, the details, the uh, design of it is pointless. These are works of art, these things really. They work as well and they like they look cool if you built it right. <laughs> right so that's them weird like parts on. Now you get the switch and the uh, USB. Make sure it holds lines up on the bottom there. And then you just get the screwdriver it comes with and the two little silver screws. Don't over time because you'll mess it up. I guess sort to get on the screwdriver. See, it's got barely any magnetism to it. That's the problem. There's some, but like barely. That Alright, I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be back with you when I've done that in the next parts. So see it. Right, so off camera just now I just plugged it in and to make sure it double work uh, double check it works, which it does. So you do that, put it to the side again for a sec, then we've got this lot to build. <laughs> so uh, these two E5 and E15 and E14 slot together and it says make sure the arrows on E15 are point up which they are then you get E6 as they are then E13 Just make sure they sort of match in orientation, so like that. So the uh, spokes match. Maybe ten, and E thirteen on that. Just nice and easy. Oh, so that's a good sign that you actually have it right around. It actually ends in when you put it. <laughs> then you need two E ones. E10 E7 E8 Again, it works out nicely because it's right around there And then E7 will be doing for ages Should put it right way around. 
and it goes in that hole there. And then you can push this in place. Lining up is this is going to be the right pain. Just a bit of manipulation and then you get it in place eventually. The wire's not going to be easy. The wire's got to be hidden, uh, sort of put in some way. Which is, yeah, I've got to figure out. So I'll back you when I've put this together because it's very fiddly. Back in a minute, that's that base put together. And now that turns that, it won't turn this yet because that's going to be connected up in a minute. But this turns that big wheel and that inside that, so that's all good. I'll uh, wax them up a bit. They've it's a little bit stiff every now again, but I think it just needs manipulation a bit. So you take it upside down again. The G11 and G10, which I've got here. G11 first. Twin, the other right side. Yeah. Like that. Then G thirteen goes on on these. <laughs> Stand. Damn it, I need one of those. We've got about those. Need a pole, a twin wheel pole, which this one is that one, yep. Two of those little plastic washers we've done before. And that goes through the middle. Yeah, go through the middle of this one. As far as that went through quite easy. <laughs> and then this goes on the other end of that, which is going to be very hard. So try. A pair of tweezers, hold it in place. It drops one. Quick. Hopefully they have spares. I don't know if they do, but hopefully that's spares.
Not the easiest thing to put on that. Jesus. I mean, who designed that bit? I think as long as it's cured in there, it don't matter too much if it's properly on or not. So, back of you in a minute once again it's passed. Right, so last couple of things to do now before finishing it off. I need to put a couple of these poles through. First. One through the top of this one. And another one through the bottom of this one. The two largest poles left so I'll get that wrong. Then uh, oh, sorry, the one at the bottom needs to be pushed further in so we need to sort of Go make it so it's longer, so you need to push it further down like that. So it's using that, that, uh, that, uh, one of these to push it down to further like that, so you have a bit of a gap on it. Put it back in, pretty significant somewhere about that, but. You need one of these, just put that in there, and another one in there as well. And they go. Uh, So this goes in there. Point in outwards by those things. And the other one does the same thing, point outwards. Don't know what this is about, but that's what it's asked me to do. Turn this over, don't lose the poles. Then you need, I'm not sure one's which one's that. Yeah, I might have confused myself here now. Uh, G20, it's got the thicker bits there by those things. G19 is the smaller one, the sort of thinner. So that goes, joins them up. And then you get the plastic, plastic pins. I have couples again. Think about helping you push this in together. Today. Was one? 
I'm not going there for. I'm back in a minute. Sitting on there, that was a bit difficult. I just do off camera, sorry about that. That was just being back, pain in the backside. So now what we do is take uh, the uh, lens. Have it so the concave, which is the like the hill part, faces out upwards like that. So upwards. So you need two 18s. So I'll remember the other one with those. Yeah, that's then the uh, then the lens. Then the part on top. And that'll go in the bit that you put in earlier. There That's not very secure, that is it? Jesus. The uh, lens in there. Last one, last part to do is literally, or well, last main part is put this E11 on the in this cog. Like that, and then that goes in here for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. That was just, uh, it connects nothing and does nothing. Why that has to go there. <sighs> Alright, so I'll be back with you. One last, last part to do, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so now the last part to do. Is put the uh, these time zones on. Now it don't specify where they go. So I think zero is where we live. I think GMT. GMT. Then I think it goes an hour ahead every time from there on, or so or so forth. So, but so just go up from there onwards. I think. Just slot in place, it says. Right, let's clean that up a little bit more. Yeah, there it goes. Four. I don't know how it works exactly, so I'll just do it in the way I think it is. And then it'll be done. It'll be complete. Uh, I've tried waxing up the parts because they're a bit stiff at the moment. But yeah, it's easier said than done. At the moment. It's all not very obviously accurate uh, time zone. It's not going to be like for like schools or anything like that. So. It's just roughly where it should be. 
Obviously, I've plugged the wire in. I've just left it on for now. Oh, turned it off now. Oh, I'll build the rest of it. Finish it off. I'll just put upside down nine then. <laughs> Last one, and that is that completely, utterly finished and built. There's the uh, pretty decent, pretty good. Uh, you turn this, and that will turn the world. Obviously, it still needs a bit more work on it. it needs to be a bit more. Find <laughs> now this one. I don't know why they put the bother this cog, cog here, it seems pointless. And then you've got the uh, magnifying glass that goes up and down. So if you want to sort of zoom into a certain point of the like map, turn the map around where you want it, say to uh, where you live, <laughs> especially, and then you turn the cog up the top there, and you can zoom in. Uh, to UK. Fair enough, yeah. So it works pretty well, and of course, uh, piece of resistance on it is voila. The uh, main part of this build is the new, beautiful, really nice light, night light, they call it on the USB. And that's it, that's really cool. There's loads of little bits left over, spares, even spare uh, uh, shafts I'm surprised by as well. And screws, yeah. So definitely didn't go, uh, didn't like skimp on bits, which is brilliant. It's a really good build this was. Difficult in times, yeah, don't get me wrong. Um, but it actually works, which is brilliant for once. <laughs> for, especially me, you gears, it's a... Uh, Checkered pass through you gear models, but yeah, keep the gears like um, waxed, then it wouldn't be much of a problem, I guess. Hard ones, obviously, going to be the wax ones, the ones in the uh, actual bottom, but you can take it apart and do that anyway, so it's not going to be much of a problem. So that's it, that is the uh, Luminous Globe complete. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I I hoped I knew it was going to, well, I hoped it was going to finish this one today. But yeah, so uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, that we're going to be another one, another one day. But we'll see. These are really nice, so it might be on a deal still. We'll see. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another one, maybe soon. See you soon. Bye. Please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe. See you soon in the next video. See you soon. Bye.